right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, hopefully, uh, you had a good uh, good beginning of the week. And uh, now we have Sojan with us to talk about hey. his uh, wonderful experiences at Dragon Con. Yeah, do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. So, yeah, we're going to work. We're going to warm up on uh, doing the fire on the bases here. Before I work on the sword. So, and I'm not going to use an airbrush for it. Or at least not for the flames on the base. Maybe I will on the the sword itself. Hello there. Hey, Ty. But, uh, I found out I'm going to have to, uh, for lack of a better term, unfuck my airbrush. Because I, mm. I was dumb and left the needle in. Mm, good. Excellent. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Good job, Gareth. <laughs> Good job, past Gareth. Way to fuck me over now. So you're saying it's mildly adhered inside the, the device. By mildly adhered, I mean kind of stuck, yeah. <laughs> but I think a pair of needle nose pliers or something, I, I might be able to... Yeah, stuck needle. Um, or I might just have to put it in my, uh... Uh, jewelry cleaner for a couple cycles and let it work through that. Or just throw it in a glass of, like, uh, isopropyl. Yeah, which let I do have some isopropyl out. alcohol, and I'll have to just probably, like, run it through that a little bit and then let it dry. So, I mean, it should just be on the end where it's stuck. It shouldn't be the the whole unit. No, uh, it, it, it will move... I can move the needle back and forth with the lever, um, but then trying to pull it out of said airbrush, that's where it's stuck. So it's stuck, like, uh, towards the back. So I'll, I'll have to just kind of... I know exact... I know... I could show you on the air here, actually. Ugh. Since it's right there. So it's, like, stuck, like, right in here on the airbrush. Because he... I can... Move that, but if I unscrew it, yeah, and I'm pulling pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can move, yeah, okay. move the assembly back and forth a little bit. I just got to work in, uh, yeah, some isopropyl and use my airbrush cleaner and all that. Yep. Yeah, throw it in some isopropyl and then toss it in your uh, jewelry cleaner after it's laid in there for a couple hours. That should break it loose and make it slide out. Yep. That's what she said. Okay, I'm gonna start with getting all of the flames just starting with yellow and working our way up from there. God, and this thing's even loose here too. Mm -hmm. Who who the frick designed this base <laughs> with this like Two itty bitty contact points for these torches. The one that hates painters. Yeah, pretty much. Or someone who just doesn't paint. Mm hmm. Well, it looks fine in the it does. Just just paint it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just that easy. Just put some paint on it. Yeah. It's just two brothers. <laughs> uh, I did not see that. Um, but you're talking to a guy who owns all of the seasons anyways, but uh, did they have all seasons up on there? Or was it only, uh, like, because I heard rumors that it was only, like, one through four. Do they have all seven seasons up there? Oh, speaking of that. Yes. So one of the people 
that was at Dragon Con was Patrick Warburton. Oh, nice. Did you, did you go so, get a signed Brock picture? I didn't. Oh. I, uh, I thought about it, but uh, he was very busy the whole time. I can imagine he was. He is very popular amongst us nerds. Oh, the first three? Okay. Still, if you haven't seen it, Ty, watch it. Mm -hmm. But, so, I think I've talked to you about uh, the thing they do. It's called Twisted Tunes, where it's they take a script and then they use different people's voices uh -huh. to kind of mess with it. Yeah. So, their script this time was The Lion King. Oh, God. So, what happens is every scene the narrator or the the moderator goes through and says okay this person does this voice this person does this voice this person does this vo voice um so at one point they're like hey we got patrick warburton to come down and sit and hang out with us for a little bit so we're gonna have him do some voices okay so he goes through and does some voices but one of the other people on the table is a uh, impersonator so like his main go-to is just impersonating really important people's voices uh-huh so at one point uh he's doing brock and then the impersonator is doing him <laughs> so it's patrick warburton talking to patrick warburton like at each other <laughs> it's hilarious yeah even delayed captures like oh that's awesome <laughs> Well, because, like, in Lion King, it was one of the uh, spots where, like, Simba was talking to Nala, and that was the two Patrick Warburton voices. <laughs> so, like, he was having a conversation with himself, and he said he was, like, even looking at it, like, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Like, it's weird. <laughs> nice. Because the guy did a pretty good... Or pretty spot on, uh, uh, Patrick Warburton nice. voice. So, ooh, and forty-five consecutive streams, <laughs> or uh, consecutive streams, Ty. Nice. And Doc, how are I'm you doing to tonight? I, I, I thought I said hello. And hello, Muse. Welcome. Sit down. Have some plaid. A little while. Listen. Yeah. Plus, yeah, we got Sojan because he's back from Dragon Con. And drinking alcohol. Okay, well, thank you for the raid, and I hope you have a uh, wonderful evening. Uh, if you're going to crash, go crash out. If you're going to uh, go do other things, have fun. Not one, but two shout-outs for Muse. Woo! Just going to be lurking? Hey, that's fair. I don't mind if people lurk. Ah, oh, God, what to do with this? Do I just put green stuff around this, too, just to reinforce it? Mm, probably can. Yeah, probably should. Yeah, because I like, don't... It'd be one of those things that would suck to do, but it... Like, I don't know, like a little uh, metal rod. Like, drill it out and swap over to that. Where were you when I was assembling this? I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> I was here. You were here, but you weren't here. I might have been. You might have been. But I might not have also been here. Yeah. Well, you were you were wherever you were, but you weren't here here. You were there here, not here here. Uh, and hello, Lotus K. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll just fix up some green stuff for this. Just... <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Muse, you painted... Uh, if you're still here, that's fine. Uh... You painted uh, 
uh, Robo Girly Man before, right? Did you have as much trouble with the, uh, uh, did you have as much trouble with the, uh, torches on the base, like, just breaking? You're there, but you haven't painted them. All right, sweet. Yeah, uh, just so you're aware, these torches suck. Uh, I, I have a vendetta against them. And I now I can't find my hey, green stupid stuff. question. The, um, the sprue goo, how much does that deposit? And or if you put some on it, would it strengthen it? It could, and I actually could probably shave off. Because, yeah, the sprue goo could sh uh, strengthen it. And also, if I trim off a little bit off of a sprue and, like, lay it next to it. That could reinforce it. Because uh, it's itty bitty tiny sconces, and like any little bump will shatter them. Like this one, I've already had to reinforce with green stuff. And this other one, I'm probably going to have to. Uh, you know, I'm just going to paint it right now, and later I will do sprue. Uh, at the end of the night, I'll do sprue goo with a little bit of. Uh, oh, let's see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and actually uh, went to the Warhammer store. And started working on uh, Snick Rot. So there's a little progress on that just for S's and G's. You know, you can only paint GW models with GW paints in their stores. Which is, I understand that. Looking good so far. Yep. And he's going to have purple like pants. Taking paint. Oh, no. Like, uh, I, I, I don't remember where... I don't know if I got this for Christmas or if it was just like a special thing and I got him to go with my commandos. But yeah, he is going to... Yeah, I'm going to snip off a little bit of the sprue here just to use that as raw material to help reinforce. Alright, see you when you get back, Doc. See, and I might even have to just trim down that little bit, too, just to strengthen it. Oh, yeah, and I was also talking to an artist from, uh, uh, that was in, in a Dragon Con. Evidently, they have, uh, some new models of dragons coming out with the new d, &D Beyond, I'm guessing. Oh, nice. So I'll have to look those up and see what they did. Okay. <laughs> what they did and if you're getting them. Well, I mean, make sure I'm not angry at them. Okay, that too. Messing up the dragons. I've heard the D&D &D Beyond is a little broken. Well, and I've heard they've removed a lot of stuff getting ready for like their next edition of D&D. &D. Mm-hmm. Which, honestly, at this point, I'm fine with us just sticking with, like, five. or <laughs> I, I, I don't want to teach any of our uh, new players uh, three, five, though. That's just a... <laughs> no, we should do three. Oh, God. <laughs> or better yet, let's go to Pathfinder. <laughs> Pathfinder was easy. It was, it was easy. It was a little bit more friendly than uh, three, five. I might have gotten rid of all the books, though. I think I did, too. Yeah, so I think I got rid of all the Pathfinder. Because I was like, ah, I'm never going to use Pathfinder. Yep. I might have kept a manual. A like, manual, maybe some of the dragon books. Because you and dragons. Uh-huh. Heard a lot of angst about the art in the new edition of D&D, Ty. I mean, that's kind of unfortunate. They've always had some decent art in their books. A plushy squig from no... Oh, my God. Nice. Awesome. 3.5 was crunchy. That, that was its problem. It was not friendly for new players. And it was not friendly to people that didn't like to do math. <laughs> 
Yeah. There was so much math. There was a lot of math. Gareth and I loved it because we were really good at it. Uh, and uh, so was new people into it. Yeah, was, so, uh, so so was our core group because we had fun with it. <laughs> like when we mathed out that uh, <laughs> that Josh's character could uh, theoretically pull down a wall as a siege engine himself <laughs> with his belt of strength. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Yeah, we were nerds about it. We loved the math. We math hammered in 3-0 that my buddy, who was a monk, high level, with some stuff he had going on, had a 360-foot run speed per round. Or was that his movement speed and then running doubled that? Oh, yeah. Uh, that was his movement speed. So, so then double that... <laughs> And I think he had the run feed, so quadruple that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things were a little dumb. And what are your initial thoughts, Muse, if you want to stay in chat? Otherwise, if you want to just go go away, if you want to go and lurk, that's fine, too. I'm not trying to force you to stay here. And I'm not trying to rustle any jimmies either. Yes, he, he was Quicksilver. Yes, time stopped, he moved. <laughs> And can you see the, or is, are the flames really bleached out for you guys? Pretty yellowy. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little bit more orangey. Or should I turn down the brightness on on the camera? Uh, hey, why don't you just try uh, on the, the light thing? Just turn it warmer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not that bad. Right. <laughs> Those batteries are dead. Like, it's on just... It turns on just enough to... Turn off. Perfect. Yep. I know you can do it on the back of it, but I also know where it's at, and it's hard to get to. Uh-huh. So. Well, that is now, unless I have some other batteries up there, might be future Gareth's problem. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, right now, it's definitely more orangey than it was a minute ago. Yeah. So. Well, I've been turning down the uh, brightness on the camera itself, so it's mm -hmm. a lot less saturated. Yeah, because I just have a bunch of double A's here, and that takes triple A's. Does it take triples, or are those stupid quads? Triples. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't know if you've run into those. Those are hilarious little batteries. Yep. Pain in the ass when you have to go try to find some. Yep. A little bit more light so I can see a little bit better. I need to be able to like portal to you because I have AAA batteries like oh, within and reach. I have them upstairs. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> It's just, I don't want the dead air of me going to replace batteries in my remote for my light. Oh, I get you. Yeah. It would just be funny to be able to, like, stick my hand through a portal and, like, drop batteries on yeah. your desk. <laughs> or, or just replace the batteries in there for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, try it now. <laughs> like, hey, this drink's really good. You should try it. <laughs> or fix me an old-fashioned. Here you go. Okie dokie. 
Which, you know, I'll have a drink of my Sour Patch Kid. Sour Ale. Everyone else, if you got a drink, toss it back for a little bit. Yeah, we went to uh, Trader Vic's on Wednesday and uh, had a... So usually for Dragon Con, they throw together like a bunch of the uh, tiki drinks. Yep. And they make big pre-mixes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, So you can go up to the bar and get those. And they're, they're fairly... I'm not going to say watered down, but they're they're lighter on the alcohol than you would normally get at that place. Yeah. So we had grabbed a drink before we sat down to eat, and uh, I finished my drink, and halfway through the meal, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take another one of these. Mm-hmm. So they bring me out an actual fancy glass with the drink in it, and I take my first sip of it, like, oh, that's got four times the alcohol on it. <laughs> Well, we kicked it up a notch for you. Yes. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it was light rum, dark rum, uh, orange juice, pineapple juice, passion fruit. That might have been it, but it tasted like candy and it was delicious. I was going to say, that sounds good. And then I proceeded to eat most of a full rack of ribs. <laughs> Sounds amazing. It was pretty tasty. I bet. Yeah, if you ever find your way into one of the two Trader Vicks we have left, they're amazing. Okay. Food is good. I bet. By a werewolf of London there. Hmm? Oh, at a Trader Vic's, find a werewolf in London there? Oh. Oh. Being a werewolf hurts my bones. What? (laughs) <laughs> Ow. It's from a from one of the new episodes of Beavis and Butthead. They, because they're trying to be like Twilight to get chicks, so they have a homeless guy bite them, and it infects them with like hepatitis A, B, C. Uh, there's like a laundry list of stuff. No, but like <laughs> they're getting sick, and like one of them just goes, "Being a werewolf hurts my bones." to uh, really hold myself back from uh, picking up any uh, models while I was there. There was some pretty amazing giant dragon models. Oh, I bet there was. And (laughs) you know I'd have painted them if you'd have gotten them. Mm -hmm. Though I think after I'm done with uh, Robute, I have a bloodthirster that's been a partial work in progress for like uh, five years? Many moons. Yeah, for like five years. So, like, even uh, Dave at the Warhammer store, he's just like, yeah, finish that. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, I either have <laughs> I either have a Bloodthirster, Bellacore, or uh, Angron for, like, my next big Warhammer models. Nice. And so he's like, well, do you want to paint red or not? And I'm like, well, I don't mind painting red. He's like, okay. 
He's like, eh, <laughs> go go for the bloodthirster because that's been uh, waiting long enough. Oh, okay, and... Doc. How's how's that looking for fire? I think I might need to blend a little bit of the orange in there. Yeah, at least what I'm getting is kind of a yellow, and I see, like, the red red bits. Yep. Hello. Oh, hey, Doc. How are you? I'm good. I thought I would, you know, I thought I would come and say hello. Well, Sounds hello, like then. Hi. <clears throat> now, hello, hello, Sojin. How was Dragon Con? It was amazing. Yeah? As every year. Good. I think there was... 75,000 people here there this year. Damn. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Just a few people. Yeah, well, and then they said that there was a lot of extra crowding, and they were trying to figure it out, but they figured that there was a lot of people that weren't badged, so there was probably closer to eighty to 85,000 people there. How did they get many, many people get in unbadged? Because so there's 80,000 people. Yeah, well, it's not contained like a lot of the cons you've probably been to. Oh, I see. It's spread across five <clears throat> uh, block-sized hotels with oh my goodness. dozens of entrances. Uh, they all have hamster tubes between them that are go above the streets and stuff. And then there's a four-floor... Uh, block sized vendor hall area and then another block sized building that's uh, two floors of board gaming and uh, card gaming and stuff so yeah it's it's really hard to keep everything locked down yeah that's, that's pretty wild I went to a frankly sizable in its own right but not nearly that big con last weekend when I went to New York. Oh, yeah. How was that? It was great. Had a great time. Yeah. Um, got to see the Hololive World Tour on Friday night, and then I got to ho see the Hololive uh, English Second Concert Part 2 on Sunday night. Uh, I didn't realize that the concert I went to, or the show that I went to, was actually split into two parts. There was a Part 1 on Saturday night and a Part 2 on Sunday night at I had known that I would have tried to go boat, go to both, but you know, I went to one night and that was good enough. Um, and the first part you can see online; uh, you do have to pay for it. But <sighs> anyways, uh, my point was, no, I had a great time. Um, I also went to the Empire State Building, the American Museum of Natural History, the Guggenheim Museum and the USS Intrepid Museum. And, yeah, it was a good... I, I really enjoyed it all. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, on our way out there, we stopped by uh, uh, Norfolk. You're, uh, you're talking about the ship. Um, we oh, yeah, Norfolk, uh, Walked Virginia. through the, um, the... Wisconsin, that's what it was. Oh, the battleship Wisconsin? Yep. Cool. And uh, super neat ship. Like, all of it was very cool. Uh, Doc, you would hate walking through that ship because you would hit your head just like I would. Or I did. <laughs> I once wanted to be in the Navy. Yeah. I was very serious about <laughs> being in the Navy uh, in high school. And my parents talked me out of ever going to any kind of military career. But Navy would have been particularly bad for me, obviously. Yeah, you would have bumped your head a lot. Yeah. Just, just like delay Special. capture when she was walking in the Constitution, she's just like, I, I would hate this. Oh mm -hmm. God, yeah. I hit Those my head like so twelve times know. just walking through. <clears throat> I need to see the Constitution. My parents are in Boston right now. They're going to see it tomorrow. Cool. I meant to go out there while uh, Reed Weber and his family were out there. Oh yeah, that'd have been cool. Um, but but by the time I said, hey, you guys, 
really need to have me as a visitor. They said, oh, uh, we're, we're moving to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> well, shucks. Or I'm one of the many times they went back to uh, Czechos- or to the Czech Republic. Yeah. I would say they went back at least twice. Maybe mm-hmm. three times. Okay. Reinforcing this jackass of a sconce. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm liking how the flames are looking right now. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to do green stuff. I don't feel like futzing with the uh, sprue goo right now. How hard does the uh, like UV resin get? Pretty hard. If you just painted it with that and then... Think that would yeah, do that the would. Thing. Does my torch work? It's very dim. What kind of batteries do you take? <laughs> Your blaze. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Yeah, you know what? It's it's worth it at this point to go up and get some uh, AAA batteries. So, talk amongst yourselves. Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island. Um, um, <clears throat> just gonna walk away like that. With just oh. over an island. Bye. There. I think his mic did pick him up, probably. <laughs> I missed what? What does he need? The what, what? What are we even getting batteries for? I missed that. So the those torches are super wobbly. Uh, uh, yes. So I he needs suggested the UV resin pen. Yes, uh, he needs the the UV light because the batteries are dead in it. Also. Uh huh. So. Well, that makes sense. Because. I had asked him before if he wanted to change the temperature of his light above him so that we could see the not washed out torches. Yes. And that that one didn't work either. So. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go look at the uh, Twin Tower memorial and stuff? Or? Um, I didn't. You know, uh, I just I just didn't have time. Gotcha. Also, I I saw it in the early 2000s, and it was still just uh, when they were still hauling. Not when they were still hauling the wreckage away, but when it was still just kind of a big hole in the ground. Um, gotcha. Um, and my, I, I, I met a friend of mine from high school there, and... Uh, Friends from high school, there's no such thing. Yeah. Hey, my oldest friend I've known since... I can never remember. It's either second grade or third grade. Mine was preschool. Yeah. I had a friend... I have a friend who I've known since preschool, but I spent a few years since I talked to him, so... Um... And he told me that the 9-11 Museum is very good, but, uh, I... I don't know if I'll ever make it there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's better. And let's just swap these out while I'm here. And I swear I had a package of AAAs down here, but uh, as of right now, 
Uh, they are the hide and seek champions. You'll find them as soon as the stream turns off. Yep. That is the way of things. Yep. There we go. Made that a little bit warmer. How's that? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. My resin is still liquid. Because that'll end all of this real quick. Uh-huh. Well, back to the green stuff. Yep. Yeah. All right. We do have some liquid resin, so... I'm just going to use sculpting tools for this. Obviously. Obliviously. Obliviously, yes. As is tradition. <laughs> and now it'll just break right above the resin. Yes. As is tradition. As is tradition. Oh, so one of the other uh, fun things they have at uh, DragonCon is a thing they call Swag and Seek, which is yeah. people drop stuff with little tags on there and just randomly all over. So the friends I always go there with, uh, they had a friend pass away from a motorcycle accident. Well, before he had passed, he had sent them a box of rubber chickens and uh, a little playing card game and said hey next time you're at dragon con you should uh put these things out so i could seek so we had a bag of 50 rubber chickens to put out so that was fun and exciting to try to drop those off where people didn't see you specifically dropping them off mm-hmm because a rubber chicken is super inconspicuous. Yep. Especially when you're trying to hide it in your pocket and it keeps getting pressed. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more, just right here. All right. Less of a pain in the butt. <clears throat> okay, man. Maybe just a <coughs> light dry brushing of some black over the flames. And then, uh, let's see. What else should I do on this base? I think that's looking almost done, aside from getting these other little bits painted metal. Are you going to do anything with the eagle, or are you going to leave it stone looking? Uh, it's stone looking in the, uh, like, in the official art. But maybe I might do a little bit of, like... Might do a little bit of highlighting on it, just because it's like where one of his feet heroically go. Don't want to paint it gold. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's another reason why I didn't want to paint Angron right now, because there's a lot of brass and gold on him. Mm -hmm. 
Whereas with the Bloodthirster, uh, not near as much. Not as aggressively as Metallic? <sighs> no, thank Christ. <laughs> Just aggressively red. Yes. Just aggressively red. Which, I, I would rather deal with that right now than aggressively gold. Mm-hmm. Because then you can pretty much just uh, airbrush them red and then paint them all the other colors of red that you want. Pretty much. Oh yeah, but I did sit and uh, BS with uh, that Ryan uh, Rimmel for just a minute. Oh yeah? So, he said, uh, book is all done, just waiting on his wife to finish uh, going through and checking it out, and we'll have the 8th uh, Mayor of Newtown. Nice. I still need to start the first one. Yes, you do. It's yep. amazing. Go right now. I... Uh, now, now, but, Doc. But I'm, but I'm talking to you guys now. Well, read while you, you talk both. to us. Multitask. <laughs> talk again. I can't do that. Not with that attitude. Well, not with any attitude. <laughs> well, especially with that be attitude. Better. Yeah. No, suck less, be better. <laughs> should never have gone to Wayne State. I should have gone somewhere else. <laughs> but then you I'm wouldn't have assholes. awesome friends like us. Oh. And then where would you be? Not here, talking to us, who are awesome. <laughs> you would know there's something missing in your life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> See, we're helping. <laughs> I almost did go to a different school. I was going to go to a different school. I had my books bought classes dialed in to go to a different school. See, yeah, you knew. Is. You knew deep down. Yeah. I debated going there. And then I found out how much a semester of classes was. And I was like, oh, I can go for two whole years at the tech school for like half of what a semester costs here. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I went there. Well, and if tech school is what you're seeking, then tech school is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was going to go for, like, business management or something like that. And it was, like, a whole crap load of gen eds and stuff like that. I was like, I don't need all this stuff. That's dumb. Could, could you imagine learning learn how to do business? stuff? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> could you imagine you in business? And managing said business. That'd be awesome. Like I always am. Well, you would, but... You couldn't cuss out your co-workers near as much. Or maybe I could. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still love the meme of just the monkey looking sideways where it says, No one should be verbally abused at work. <laughs> Every tradesman everywhere. Just look at the camera. <laughs> look forward like there was a post on reddit i saw today in the construction subreddit which somehow made it all the way up to uh all it was a <clears throat> it was like a uh form that you would fill out like how were your how were your feelings hurt who did not uh, oh, yes, the yeah. hurt feelings for me mm -hmm. yeah, that's been out forever yeah, who is the man that hurt your feelings? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Where did he where did he hurt your feelings? <laughs> did uh, he yes. yell at you? Did he yell at you, talk strongly to you, look at you in a disapproving manner? Yes. yes. Well hello, fabulous Bill. Oh. 
Bill, you should yep, we, we've had that form since you like emailed it back and forth to each other. Oh yeah, and ago. everyone would just get a good <laughs> chuckle out of it. Uh-huh. It is good fun. We print it out every once in a while and put it on a wall somewhere. Mm -hmm. Or the real fun was actually putting it on someone's desk. Mm -hmm. Filling it out and putting it on someone's desk. Who fucking filled us out? Get out of here. Get back to work, you lazy assholes. <laughs> yeah. Going good. Uh, working on the uh, fire effects on the uh, torches just to kind of uh, brush up my fire effects before working on the sword next week at this rate. <coughs> and then using some UV resin to uh, reinforce this other torch because whoever designed this is a dick. Yeah, I hate that guy. Yeah. Because I've broken both of the torches pretty much at this point. Yeah, that should have definitely been a little metal stick instead of uh, trying to do plastic with that. <laughs> I, I think he did. Yeah. I've been quite verbal about these the entire time. How much I've hated these sconces. I think he's quite verbally enunciated how his uh, love of these things are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds about right, honestly, but the little metal stick would uh, get people angry because they're metal. Yeah. True. How dare you make me use a different medium? Yeah. Only true miniatures are... Or whatever this is, I don't know. <laughs> I, I got nothing. Plastic keys, yeah, type things. Sure, was ever just like really way overdone minis, like War Gaming minis, like machine them out of brass or something. Uh, you can actually get a uh, miniature paint or. Uh, printed out. What is it on Hero Forge? Is it brass? Uh, yes. Yeah, you could get a mini 3D printed out of metal. Yeah, it might yeah. be cast. I, I think it's like 3D I, printed. I think you can do like 3D printed center brass. I've heard of that. Um, I know, but like machined, like forged. Oh, okay. Like really just stupid levels of effort. Field of give a damn is barren. Well, who salted your field? Or was it you? Whose field is salty? Uh, Fabulous Bill's field is salty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, damn it, past Fabulous Bill, don't do that to present day Fabulous Bill. Kind of like how past Gareth just wasn't smart and didn't take the needle out of his airbrush, so now I have to deal with it. So, past Gareth is a dick. You're always so good about taking the needle out. I usually am, but the past couple times I just haven't been, and I guess I'm, t I'm teaching myself a lesson for some reason. <laughs> Too late until we meet again. Of course I got the He-Man reference.
Oh, yeah. And, uh, I know I talked about it on Monday stream, or at least I'm pretty sure I did. Uh -huh. Found out I officially have my grandfather's hip, so, Jan. You, you officially have your what? My grandfather's hips. Oh. Yeah. That, um, that sounds not good. No, it isn't. Uh because I've, I've been having some pain in my left hip for a couple months here and I had a checkup and like any pain I'm like yeah left hip's been bothering me uh yeah he's almost done I'll have him done in time for uh, Space Marine 2 because I'll be working on the sword next week and finishing him off but yeah I was telling him yeah my left hip hurts a little bit and he's just like okay well you know more like in the groin area or on the side like, a ah, little bit of both. So, send me to x-ray after he does, like, a few little mobility tests. And, yeah, they call me back later going, yeah, you have uh, some uh, moderate degeneration in that left hip. I keep losing your audio. Yeah, I think your mic's cutting out on you. Yeah, fuck. Well, let's make sure. It's, like, half the audio and then it stops picking you up like halfway through a conversation all right because every time you start talking again it'll it'll pick you back up and then hear me clearly on twitch i don't know if that's a uh discord thing or not it might be so yeah i have turns out i have moderate degeneration on my left hip uh. yay so I suppose the solution is hip replacement. Uh, well, I'm on a anti-inflammatory med right now, which is helping quite a bit. And probably uh, they referred me to an orthopedic doctor, which I'm going to see them here in the next couple weeks. Already made the appointment for that. So we'll see if it's just like uh, like some physical therapy and whatnot right now. But eventually it will lead to, yes, getting that hip replaced yeah well, I'll be part bionic <laughs> yeah cause Fabulous Bill is part bionic me too And at least with the way new implants are, or, you know, replacements are, they'll last quite a bit longer now. But no, like, when I was getting up from walking, or from, like, sitting and everything, I was walking, I felt like I was walking like my grandpa before he had some of his first hip replacements. Oh yeah, and Fabulous Bill. Uh, Sojan agreed to help a little bit with uh, getting you uh, Spasmarin too. So we're all pitching in. <laughs> so, we can, so we can play the Spasmarin. Yeah, we we can all let out our mighty cry of Spasmarin's her. <laughs> For the emperor. For the emperor. Yep. All <laughs> praise to <laughs> Space King. <laughs> I still need to all the holy globules. Yeah. There's, there's too freaking much to do. Well, if you just wouldn't watch VTubers and watch just important shit like Warhammer 40k lore videos you'd be up to date with where we're at. You're familiar with Bricky, of course. A little bit, yeah. Are you familiar with the fact that he <laughs> he does a lot of streaming with VTubers now? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so uh, last year, um, a VTuber asked if she asked him if she could watch his lore videos and talk about them on her stream. He said yes. So she did that, and they kept in communication, and now they stream together sometimes. As a matter of fact, they're playing through the Halo series together. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she's played a lot of, uh, what, uh, she played, I think she's played through Bolt Gun, she's played through, um, Mechanicus, which, better than me for finishing both of those. Um, she's played, she's done quite a bit, uh, she, I think she's even done some mini painting streams, and some of the VTubers she works with have done some mini painting streams. So Warhammer has infected the VTubing sphere, and vice versa. Well, fancy that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, well, fancy that. <laughs> Oh, God. But you're not watching Major <laughs> Kill. <laughs> What's that? You're not watching Major Kill, so you don't have the perspective of the Australians. I mean, I, I, I have perspective of Australians, just, just not those particular ones, I guess. <laughs> I, told, I told you I went to Australia, right? No, yeah, I remember. Okay. I remember. I thought you would have. Yep. go back. It's a good time. Some parts of it, I honestly, were miserable. For the most part, it's pretty good. Sitting out in the rain really sucks. Well, it does in general. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a mite bit cranky. Let's poke him with a stick. You know what? Good enough uh, stopping point right now. So next stream, we will work on this. Or next Wednesday, we'll work on this blade. Probably try and get it done, too. So, should be fun. Yay. Yep. So, uh, yeah, no good stream i'm glad that i'm almost done with him i am so done painting so much gold right now <laughs> you should paint some custodes <laughs> <laughs> yeah and challenge myself and do it all non-metallic metal chrome yes how did you read my mind yeah <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> nah, I won't. I, I would definitely have to like practice on just straight up non-metallic metal before I go that far. But I gotta say, like some of the non-metallic metal chrome stuff I've seen is uh, phenomenal. But anyways, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so yeah, I'll hit some of this with a wash. Probably do some of that off stream. And yeah, next Monday we'll keep working on uh, Hero Quest, and then Wednesday we'll work on uh, finishing off Robute. So maybe one or two more streams for him, and should be should be done and in the bag, and then we can go on to the Bloodthirster. <laughs> So, uh, Muse, if you're still here, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it, as always. Uh, thank you, anybody who <coughs> stuck around for a while. And uh, thank you, you guys, for coming in to chat. Always appreciate it. You're, yeah. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, we'll see you guys all on uh, Monday. 
and yeah, that's about it. I'm, I know I'm rambling now. So, <laughs> so have a good night, everyone. Talk to you later. Ah, hey, you know what? And if you make it, great. And if you're lurking, that's fine, too. So, uh, thank everybody for swinging by. See you all on Monday. And remember to just keep on painting. <laughs>